Hello. So we just read the art lesson. I thought it would be fun to have an art lesson. So I've rigged up a document camera. Let's see. Here's my tower of a game and a Pringles can and an olive can. I'm going to put my phone on top and support it with another olive can. So if that works, we're going to have a little art lesson. Here we go. You'll see I have some crayons, I have some paint, I have some colored pencils, and we're going to try this. If it falls, I'll be trying something else. I think that'll do. All right, we're going to be doing a landscape. And one thing I wanted to teach you about is if you just draw a line across the middle of your paper, that is called a horizon line. And the horizon separates the land from the sky. So when I was a kid, kids used to always color the sky just right up here. And they called that the sky because sky is up. But really, if you looked outside, you would see that it would, the blue would come all the way to the horizon line. So you can color it all the way down here. Now, if you want to have some pretty clouds, you could draw those in. It's a beautiful day today with lots of clear clouds. So I'm just going to color blue in between my clouds. I'm going to leave them white because I'm using crayon. And I'm going to just color that in. Wouldn't time lapse be good if <laughs> we're going to do this in real time? Hopefully you're going to color along with me. You can also pause the video if you want to go get something else. To use because like I said you could you, you could do this with crayons chalks colored pencils paint all right so there's my sky and I'm gonna make my land green here I'm just gonna color that green right up to my horizon line and I'm gonna try and fill in as much of my space as I can. You notice I'm kind of going horizontally with my crayon. I'm not going vertically. Now horizontally is left to right. Vertically would be as if I was coloring this way. But I think it looks nice to have a smooth stroke across with my crayon. I can add in details later. Later, I'm just putting in kind of the background. And I'm just filling in with color. Now, if you go another direction, it kind of fills it in. It doesn't look as much like the ground if I'm going diagonally. This is diagonal. So I've got horizontal. Hey, horizontal. Horizon. Hey, I think those words are related. Okay. So I'm just coloring that in. I can go back in and darken my sky here and there. Now the horizon doesn't always have to be a flat line. It can also be mountains. It could be hills. So I'm going to take my pencil, in case I don't like what I did, and I'm going to draw just some hills. Okay, you might say, well, those are blue hills now. Well, I can certainly go with a darker color and color over them. Let me see, I'm looking for a good brown. All right. So I can make some rolling hills. See, now I'm kind of going diagonally or even with the shape of the hill. And I can color Right here where the hills crisscross, I'm going to make it just a little darker on the hill that is behind. Color it just a little darker. 
putting a little bit more pressure on my crayon to make it darker. All right. So now I have a couple of hills on my horizon. Now one thing that is true is things in a distance are smaller looking than the things that are up close. So I think we need a tree or a couple of trees. And so I'm gonna make, I think I'll do it with my pencil first. I'm gonna draw a tree, just kind of over here. I'm gonna draw its trunk. Going up like this. And some branches. And this is gonna be my tree. And I can take that darker brown kind of color a tree with some branches. And it's fairly small, but it's it's not all the way back by the hill. If I was drawing a tree back by the hill, I would make it even smaller like this. And then of course the tree needs some, some green leaves. So I can just kind of make some swirlies, swirlies, swirlies on my tree. And I'm just layering it right on top of that. And then this little distant tree, I'm just going to put a, a little bit of green. Almost like little dots almost in that distant tree. Now I'm going to actually make a really big tree up close here. So I'm going to make this tree go up like this. It's going to have some branches that go out like that. Because when things are up close, they appear to be bigger. If you can believe it, the trees in the distance are probably the same. Oops, my pencil broke. Good thing I have two pencils. It's always a good idea to have a second pencil on hand in case one lead decides to jump out. And I'm gonna make this tree reach for the sky. And it's a nice big tree right up close and personal. And I'm just drawing those branches. And then I'm going to go back with that dark crayon again, right on top of it. So the lessons here are horizon, which is this line that separates the sky and the land. The word horizontal, which is related to that, which means from left to right. Vertical lines are the direction that this tree is facing. It is reaching up to the sky. So up and down, those are vertical lines. And I'm going to color this trunk nice and dark. <laughs> Look at I broke my crayon. I was coloring so dark. Has that ever happened to you? You're coloring nice and dark. Nothing to get upset about. Crayons can always be replaced with more crayons. Or you can use just the little broken bits. They still color. So I've drawn that and now I'm gonna give it some leaves. Now it kind of makes it nice to, um, to color things a little darker and lighter, maybe having some light green. I'm always gonna start with my light color first. Here, I'm gonna color in some leaves. I'm kind of just doing swirly swirlies. Works well with my crayon. As I'm talking, for those adults that might be listening, I'm thinking of Bob Ross. He's an artist that likes to teach people how to paint and how he had to come up with things to say while he was teaching. So now I'm doing a little darker green, Bring, coming in with a little darker green. And I'm gonna fill this in like this. And then a really dark green. Let me see what this one says, forest green. And I'm coming in, putting in some more leaves. All right. So 
So we also learned that when we are drawing, if we want to have depth in our in our drawing, we want things in a distance, they are smaller. And when they are up close, they are bigger. Now, of course, I could go in and I could draw a lot more details. And I suggest that you might want to do that. But this video is getting kind of long by details. Like you may want to draw some animals. You may want to draw some grass. Like I could go in with this forest green and put some grass around the base of my tree. I could maybe even draw some flowers. It's really up to you. What do you like in your picture? I can draw some other little things. When I'm all done, I will post a picture of my finished product and I would love it if you would post a picture of your finished product. Well, I hope you had fun learning about the horizon and horizontal, vertical depth by something small in the distance and bigger in the uh, closer <laughs> view. So have a great day and let's keep doing some art.